So without any further ado, let's get started. So what exactly is Zoho Payroll? It is a cloud-based payroll management software that helps different uh, kind of organization, whether it is small or large organizations. It helps uh, them to manage and automate their payroll processes very efficiently and effectively. What it does, it helps uh, them to calculate salaries, taxes, and deductions. And it also helps them to send different uh, their pay slips out every month that do on time timely basis. And it also performs all other payroll activities on time. And as we know, it is uh, one of the part of Zoho suite of business applications, and it is designed to handle various aspects of payroll. And uh, Zoho payroll is commonly, uh, as I said, it is used by different uh, organization, whether it is small to medium sized uh, enterprises. Uh, and if they're looking for an efficient way to manage their payroll without any uh, manual work, and it helps them to disperse the salaries on timely basis and that too accurately. So this is uh, all about uh, Zoho payroll. And let's see uh, why should we choose Zoho payroll software? Uh, because the very first point is automatic payroll calculation. It helps the different kind of organization to run their payroll in within a few clicks. They don't have to work manually and it automatically helps them generate pay slips online. And the pay slips uh, consist of a uh, breakdown of taxes, deductions, as well as allowances. So it consists of all the details. Okay. And uh, the next feature is statutory compliance. So we can also stay compliant with all the regulations uh, such as uh, Provident Fund, PT, ESIC, and many more such things. And you can also get the tax reports on time to file your uh, tax, e tax returns. And the third is seamless integration. So as we know, it is uh, connected with uh, various Zoho applications like Zoho Books, Zoho People, as well as Zoho Expense, which gives uh, the different organizations a better payroll experience. And the next is direct salary payments. So the employees can get their salaries on time and that too with very easy steps and they uh, their uh, bank accounts is already integrated and the uh, banks integrated is HDFC and Yes Bank. The next is uh, employee, there is also a employee self-service portal which is uh, accessible, accessible by uh, all the employees and they can uh, themselves access their pay slips, tax reports and many more such things via this dedicated portal and next is centralized employee management we can onboard uh, the employees we can uh, manage as well as we can uh, do the exit formalities of all the employees using this zoho payroll software very efficiently these are the additional features of zoho payroll uh, it is multiple pay structures we can also create uh, and manage, we can also create and manage different salary structures for various roles. Also, we can, uh, we get the facility for tax reporting. As I said before, uh, we can uh, generate form 16 for employee tax filings. As I said before that, uh, we have the HSBC and Yes Bank. Uh, these are the banks that are already integrated uh, for payroll and the employees can get their salary transfers directly using these integrated bank accounts. And the best part is that we can pay the employees their salary on a timely basis. We can transfer the employees' salaries directly to their bank accounts with timely online transfers and readily available bank advice. What are the benefits of using Zoho payroll system? 
So very first is it simpli simplifies compliance maintenance. So Zobo payroll assists us to uh, automate all the compliance related tasks and ensures that there is accuracy and timely filing of all the taxes and reports. It helps the uh, employee to get better uh, satisfaction and as well as retention because if we use this uh, Zobo payroll, we can ensure that the payments are uh, done on timely basis as well as there is no errors. And this helps us to improve the cust uh, employee satisfaction as well as their loyalty. It also reduces uh, errors and saves our time because uh, as all the tasks uh, integrated in this software is automated, so there are no chances for any uh, man-made errors. And this helps us to focus on our uh, most important task and it also helps to save our time. And the next is it improves the data security. So using the Zoho HR payroll, it uh, it measures maintain employee data with the utmost security, compliance, and privacy. And the next is it offers real time reporting and analytics. You can get instant insights into payroll data while using this system. There are a lot of reports in this uh, software that you can generate, which I will show show it to you later. And this uh, really helps us to contribute to your business strategic decision making. Let's move on to the next slide. So the pricing plans are as below. So if we are opting for the free version, uh, it is accessible only up to 10 employees. And if we are using the standard version, the there are charges applicable. So it is rupees 40 per employee per month, but uh, provided the minimum employee should be 25. And if we are opting for professional plan, so the charges are rupees 60 per employee per month, and it is billed on annual, annual basis. And the minimum employee should be 50. So this is how the uh, Zoho payroll homepage looks like. So at the left hand side of the application, we can see home. In the home section, you can see the name of the uh, person using this, name of the HR using this software. You can see the process paid and uh, cycle, which is from 1st January to 31st January. And here you can see the net pay of all the employees, the payment date, the number of employees, and you can view all the details payment details over here and if you uh, click on pay uh, the salary will get transferred to the employee's bank account directly this is the deduction summary here you can find the epf details esic details tds details this is the number of active employees over here and if we look at, at the right hand side of the page this is the to do task which is uh, pending for approval if there are no uh, nothing no, no no payments are pending so you you will find it empty so 136 reimbursement claims are pending 96 proof of payments are pending so here you can see the to do task list this is the dashboard if we have to uh, add the organization details from here so this is how it looks like you can upload the logo of the company you can uh, mention the name of the organization, business location, industry, date format, address, filing address, head office, everything you can uh, update over here. So you can provide your tax details, configure your pay schedule, set up your statutory components like PF, ESIC, labor welfare fund, professional tax, You can add employees from here. You can configure prior payroll. So you can also add employees from here. So I have added mine. So the, here I've added mine. You can choose this option, add employee to add employee name, middle name, last name, employee ID, date of joining, 
work email mobile number the gender designation department so you can uh, use this option to uh, let your employee access this portal and you can save and continue okay so all the uh, employees will be shown in this category and you can uh, access uh, run your payroll from here this option i don't have any data but i i have a video that i'll be i'll be showing to you shortly so this is the approval tab here you can see reimbursement tax a reimbursement option proof of investment salary revision here we, we can find uh, employees can find their form 16 if they have opted for any kind of loans this uh, it will be visible here any documents of the organization so these are all the reports payroll overview report payroll summary lop summary leave engagement summary you can get all the reports from using this option deduction reports taxes reports and uh, you can upgrade your app, uh, software using this option there is a setting option you can uh, update the organization details work location departments like uh, marketing uh, department business de development department designations what all designations are uh, available in this organization statutory components epf the company can update over here salary component these are the salary template option but uh, we have to create it this, this is the tax details of the organization. They have to update before uh, uh, running the payroll. This is the pay schedule of the employee we can update. We can select the work week, for example, Monday to Friday. We can calculate monthly salary based on uh, actual days in a month or we have to choose organization work days. It is not accessible right now. So... We can also uh, choose this option on which date we have to make the payment, like the last working day, or we can choose the date from here. One, two, three, tenth, And if the payday falls on a non-working day or a holiday, employees can get the payment on the next uh, previous working day or the next working day. This is the email templates. Here you can see the email templates, regular pay slips. Final settlement pay slip template, salary certificate template, bonus letter. These are the application integrated that is integrated with this software. Zoho people, Zoho book. So Zoho people, this integration helps you to fetch employee and LOP details directly from Zoho people. You can connect here and you can get all the details linked with Zoho people. You can use Zoho books. It is also integrated. You have to sync all the payroll trans transactions with your Zoho books account automatically. You can uh, integrate... Um, Zoho expense integration helps your employees to submit the expenses for reimbursement easily. So this is one of the uh, best part. Zoho analytics. It helps you to create custom reports and make better decisions. You can uh, back up your data from here. This is the subscription. 14 day uh, free trial is also available. So, uh, the deduction summary gives you the EPF, ESI and TDS deduction details. Welcome to the overview video on Zoho Payroll. I am Irene and I am here to demonstrate how you can make the best use of Zoho Payroll to automate your payroll process. 
Zoho Payroll is a cloud-based tax compliant payroll software which automatically calculates salaries, taxes and deductions, sends payslip out every month and performs all other payroll activities. You will learn its fundamentals which will include how you can set up your organization profile, onboard employees, configure salary structure and get your statutory tax set up, run your first pay run and gaining insights into your payroll process and other administrative functions. To get started, sign in to your Zoho Payroll account after which you will be logged into the home page. The home page gives you an insight of all your organization summary details. Here, the deduction summary gives you the EPF, ESI and TDS deduction details. In the employee summary, you can view a list of all the active employees in your organization. And here, in the payroll cost summary, you can see a graphical representation of the monthly payroll cost incurred by your organization. Further, you can drill down to get net pay, taxes, statutories and deduction details. The tasks which are in pending status appear under the to do task section. On the left sidebar, you can find all the different modules in Zoho Payroll. The employees module lets you add and manage all of your employees details. In the pay runs module, you can process payments for employees based on their pay schedule. The approvals module lets you review each reimbursement claim, proof of investment and salary revision of your employees. In the taxes and forms module, you can track your TDS filings and generate form 16 for your employees. If you have provided loans for your employees, you can keep track of it in the loans module. Also, the reports module provides a wide range of reports for payroll reporting, statutory compliance and more. Now that you're familiar with the user interface, let's see how to configure your organization. Go to settings and click organization profile. Here, you can add or modify the details including your company logo, date format and the filing address which will be displayed in all payslips and forms. The email address which you will provide here will be a primary contact for your organization. If your organization has offices spread across, you can add all their addresses in the work locations. It impacts the contribution towards the professional tax and labor welfare fund of your employees. Moving on to the next most important part, using Zoho Payroll, you can stay statutory compliant and configure EPF, ESI, professional tax and labor welfare fund. The Employees Provident Fund is a retirement benefit scheme which aims to provide financial security to employees. This was all about uh, Zoho Payroll.